All right. <laughs> we are live now. Right. Well, we are on this side, which oh. means there's a bit of a delay. So I will just answer the chat, I think, because it says I am live. It's backwards. It's upside down, isn't it? Yeah. It's upside down, isn't it? Dang it. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. How do we flip it? Let's just flip it real fast. Flip it. Oh, flip this? Oh, okay. I guess I could do that. That works. <laughs> For those of you who are uh, not used to my lives, you would turn that off. <laughs> you might not um, know how much of a hot mess this is every single time we go live but at least this time it's actually landscape instead of portrait so we've got that going for us and smart Damien helped me turn it up or turn it the right way so you can see it so it's gonna be upside down to me but it'll be right side up to you so yay <laughs> thank you so much to everybody who is here right now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started instead of like saying hi to everyone just because I know I want to see the goods so we're just gonna we're just gonna jump right in um, <laughs> so hi to everybody that's here um, hi to anybody that is watching the the replay all of that um, in case you aren't aware of what we're even talking about today tomorrow is the release of our 2021 celebrations collection which is our basically it's our annual release of the most amazing sticker collection there ever could be that that's the the short of it, basically. Um, but um, just to get a lot of the like super easy stuff out of the way first, I'm just gonna run through the details and then we'll jump into it. Um, I'll, I'll repeat the details throughout the video, but just so that they're there at the beginning. Um, so anyway, so pre-sale starts tomorrow, which is January 22nd at 12 p.m. Central Time. And it's going to run through January 26th at 11.59 p.m. Central or while supplies last. So the reason why we say supplies last, we do have a limited quantity of items. So um, it is completely possible that things might sell out. Last year they sold out uh, about, what, uh, 12 hours before the, the pre-order ended. So it is possible. Um, and, I mean, I'm biased, but this is the best collection we've ever done. So... It's possible it'll sell out. <laughs> um, oh no, I keep moving it the wrong way. Sorry, I'm backwards, like I said. Okay, next thing. The first 150 orders starting at 12 p.m. Central tomorrow will be will receive a fast pass for shipping, which means they're gonna ship, the orders will ship within five to seven business days. Um, and that does not include transit time. So remember, uh, a lot of these will be shipping USPS. Um, they're still a little bit overwhelmed from the holiday season. Things seem to be getting back on track, so things are moving more quickly. Um, but just keep that in mind. The, the fast pass orders will ship five to seven business days, not including transit time. There are over 1,000 exclusive stickers in the collection. Um, and those these were all hand-drawn and lettered by Cindy Gwintert Baldo of the Llama Letters, who if you don't know her, you definitely Definitely need to go check her out, but I'm pretty sure you guys probably know her. <laughs> um, so she draws all the stuff for us, and then we go through and pick the colors and color everything and lay it all out in the collection. So it's truly a collaborative uh, project. Also important to note is there will be a free keychain during the launch if you use a unique coupon code from one of the amazing people who went through spent time to give us reviews and show you guys pictures and videos and all sorts of things before tomorrow's launch. I have all of the information about which uh, people have which Steve keychain and coupons and all that in the description here. There's also links to their Instagram accounts, so please be sure to check them out so you can see their thoughts on the review and all that. I know many of them have already posted. Some won't be posting until tomorrow, so just keep an eye out. Um, and then, like I said, use their coupon code for the free keychain of your choice. Um, some of them also, just as an FYI, all of the people who did reviews for us also have an affiliate link 
which it's no extra cost to you, but it does give them a little bit of a percentage to help say thank you for going through and reviewing everything. So if you do use one of their coupon codes or, or they're the ones that turned you on to this collection, please make sure to use their link if you can, uh, just to give them a little thank you when checking out. So with all that said, oh no, wait, I have more information. I thought I, I thought I got it all. <laughs> I have a little cheat sheet here, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to make sure all of the listings are on the website by late tonight, early tomorrow morning, like early, early, early tomorrow morning, um, so that you can browse the website before the actual launch. You can see what's going to be added. Um, there is a new section on the website that you can see now. It's empty, but the section is there, which will make it very easy to find. It's up at the top with um, all of the main categories of the website called Celebrations Collection. So you can click on that, see all of the things that will be there. Um, there's, so there's that. So important to note for this year's collection. So after last year that, you know, it was kind of a, a bit of a wacky year, um, to lack of a better term, um, we decided that we needed a few more reasons to celebrate. So we added two extra pages to this year's collection. So normally there are 22 total pages in the collection. This year there are two extra pages and the price remains the same. And for those wondering, the price is $129 for the base kit plus binder, um, plus shipping. But you can also get, if you don't need the binder, you don't want the binder for whatever reason, or you want like an extra set of stickers because you want two instead of one, um, you can get the stickers on their own for $115 plus shipping. And now with that said, I can get started. So I have a few things here I wanted to go through. I don't have everything that's going to be on the site, but I just wanted to give you like a little bit of a tour of what we've got. So I have the main collection here, and then I have the two different die cut sets, and I also have the 2021 calendar die cuts, which people have been asking for. And I really, really, really appreciate uh, y'all's patience while we got all of this taken care of. Um, the <laughs> Last year was just, it was a doozy. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to start with the collection itself, but I wanted to show, I do have these, uh, die cuts and things to go through. So in case I forget to go through them before the end, just holler at me and let me know. So this is this year's collection. Um, I think you can see it on the screen, but we decided to go with a dot theme this year. The last couple years we've had stripes, which have been pretty, pretty, uh, Standard for Christie and Design, so we decided to shake things up a little bit and add some dots in the background. Um, and then we've got our our standard pink. You've got some of the some of the celebration steeds at the bottom there, and then so that's that's the front. This is because people have been asking. This is the half inch binder. Um, I actually don't have the spine on this one, but there will be a special celebrations collection spine on these. Um, this is the half inch just because it's the perfect size. For, I think you can see that. Yeah, it's the perfect size for the collection itself. So we decided to stick with the half inch this year. Um, so then when you open it up, this is the very first page. This one is always the one that basically welcomes you into the collection. So it's got, you know, the celebrations collection. It has all of your birthday, celebrate, anniversary, some of the celebratory Steve's, and then just some decorative stickers to help you mark things like, uh, birthdays and anniversaries, uh, anything like that. If you notice from this page, we keep turning it the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> we do have a little bit of a rainbow theme going on this year. Rainbow is pretty prevalent in Christian design, so we decided to bring that into the celebrations collection this year, and I seriously love how it turned out. So I hope you guys do too. Um, <laughs> you guys are funny in the chat. And then I don't have a favorite because I can't. <laughs> anyway, so this is the first page, then you go into the second page. So these two are both technically the samplers. Um, so this one is more of like a functional, you've got some, some decorative stuff. And then this is a bunch of extra decorative icons that don't really fit anywhere else within the collection, but they're things you might need. So obviously you need, and maybe I'll try to get up closer with this, but this one, nope, wrong way, gotta go this way. Yes. So this one here is actually the Celebrations Collection in a box. So obviously you need that one. That's like one of my favorite stickers. The details are 
I mean, I, obviously I'm tooting my own horn here, but the details are amazing in this collection. <laughs> um, we've got our, our tagline, celebrate your life. We've got some stickers for you to mark, you know, when you order stickers from us, things like that. And then just random things like a voting sticker, uh, one for Groundhog Day, some baby stickers, uh, bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah. And then we've got number one dad, number one mom, and then just a few little holiday type icons down at the bottom. Uh, so that is the second sampler. Then we go into, these are like the main, main pages of the collection. So this is page one of 22, because these were the other two that are samplers. Um, and this is Celebrate with Steve. So these are all of your celebratory Steve stickers, all on their own here. And then with little labels in case you wanted to mark, you know, what time your New Year's party is. Let's hope we can have New Year's parties this year, maybe? Question mark? <laughs> um, or, you know, you want to mark when someone's birthday is or anything like that. Um, that's what these are perfect for. And we have a few Steves on here that I have seen some people ask questions about. So I just thought I would maybe point them out um, as I see them here. So this guy here is actually the ox for the, uh, this is the year of the ox for the Lunar New Year. And then next year, 2022, is the year of the tiger. So this guy is a little tiger. Um, this one we've seen some questions about. Uh, this is Easter Steve. He's popping out of an egg. <laughs> and then this one here is Holy Steve. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. I believe I am. Uh, this is a Hindu festival. It's considered a festival of colors. And this was a big request for us to add, so we decided to add him in this year. This one is Diwali Steve. Then we have Christmas Steve and Hanukkah Steve here. So those are the the main holidays there and then we've got like a little shopping guy um an online shopping guy travel some people thought that this one was a book so just wanted to point out this is actually a map um and he's confused that's why he's got his eye up like that <laughs> and then we have a study steve and a, a planner steve so those are fun um <laughs> sam just said she thought that these were related to tiger king that's hilarious Oh, and then this one, of course, is Cindy's favorite. I, she'll probably uh, yell at me if I don't bring that up. But this is Halloween Steve, which she is calling punk rock uh, Steve Skellington. I think that's what she's calling him. So he's pretty fun, too. I love them all. Uh, Cindy, like, seriously knocks it out of the park every year with her new, her new designs. So I am in love with all of these. Oh, Steve wrapped in a blanket. That was another one. Thank you, Jen. Uh, another one people have been asking questions about. This is actually Thanksgiving question. Uh, Thanksgiving question. Thanksgiving Steve. Just because um, we had him as a turkey last year and we decided to kind of shake things up a little bit. And so this is just basically sitting on the couch being comfy, wrapped in a blanket. <laughs> That's how I like to spend Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, next page is this is considered celebrate every day. So this is welcoming you to every single month of the year and it's got um, it's got different uh, decorations that go along with the holidays. Now these ones are the ones that are in the northern hemisphere so if you're in the southern hemisphere obviously like the winter and stuff are going to be a little off but we do always do a add-on sheet where you can get extras of these and we do offer a southern hemisphere version of these as well. Then we've got um, winter, spring, summer, and fall, again, with some of the decorations. And then these are all of the, I don't want to say main holidays, because obviously there's, there's holidays on here that are missing in terms of main holidays. But these are ones you will typically see in a calendar. Um, and so you might want to cover it up, uh, make it look a little bit prettier, something like that. So those are those, are those ones. You've got New Year's, St. Patrick's Day, Diwali. Uh, Ramadan, etc. on there. And then down at the bottom, you've got a couple happy anniversary and happy birthdays. So we tried to add a good amount of anniversary and birthday stickers because I know there's not just, you know, one birthday in a year. So this is where you get into a big part of the meat and potatoes of, of this, um, I almost said planner, <laughs> of this collection. And it is nine full pages of dated holidays for 2021. And it is uh, religious holidays, secular holidays, non, like not even on a calendar type holiday, things like that. So everything is in here. Um, we started off with the months. 
So, it, for example, National Hobby Month is January, but also it's National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. Um, so each month has two different options for which one. Um, someone just asked in the comments how many holidays per month. That is a really good question. Um, there are some that have holidays almost every single day and then some that don't. And it's just, it's just a matter of what type of holidays there are. Um, so I don't really have a proper answer for that, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, one of the changes that we did last year, so this is actually our fifth time doing a annual celebrations collection. And last year, based on huge feedback, we changed everything so that it, it used to be to where calendar and religious holidays were in one section and like more wacky holidays like ice cream day, things like that were in another section. But it got confusing having to flip back and forth between the two different sections. So we put all of the holidays together so that they are all in order based on the year. So it starts with January 1st. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit out of order since it's releasing January 22nd. So you'll start a little bit down the page. But it starts January 1st and ends December 31st. So um, and we do have each one marked with the day that it belongs to. And there are some that have two, like for example, January 1st is both New Year's Day and National Hangover Day. What a coincidence. Um, and then there are some uh, where it only has one, or there's some where there is not a holiday that day. For example, like February 3rd doesn't have a holiday, because we've got one for February 1st, 2nd, and 4th. So some don't have them, some do. And these are all sized to fit relatively well inside of a, a standard, I say standard, um, because the majority of our customers use a specific size of planner and these are sized very well to fit in the monthly but they will also fit in bullet journals and smaller planners alike so so there are nine total pages of holidays and they are there's all sorts of different holidays here like margarita day here um panda day and then we also have like passover um and lent and things like that so I'm just going to flip through those real fast. And I do have um, an individual page flip through on the YouTube channel as well. If you wanted to see the page like in a different way than this <laughs> um, and, you know, pause it or zoom in or whatever, or you can just ask and I can let you know what any of them say. Um, we did get a lot of feedback last year on certain holidays to add as well. So there will be some new holidays that you did not see last year. There will be some holidays that were in last year's collection that are not in this year's. And then we kind of changed up the quote unquote wacky holidays a little bit this year as well. So I know for a fact last year we had dog day and we still have it this year, but that's because I'm a dog person. So there will always be dog day. <laughs> <laughs> but like some of the other ones are not in here and they've been replaced with other ones just to keep things fresh. And then at the very end of the last page we have a few more celebrate and it brings in that rainbow coloring again from the beginning. So you've got two celebrate and then two let's celebrate. You can use those for pretty much anything. And then we go into the um, more decorative pages for specific holidays. So we have all of the seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, and then we have a few other holidays. And we, we try to do the holidays that the most people celebrate. Um, so religious holidays are actually an additional add-on instead of being included, because since they take up a full page, um, it's, it's best to have those as an add-on instead. So we changed this page up a little bit. It is very similar to how it was last year because based on feedback, y'all really liked how last year's was set up. So I didn't want to change it too much. Um, I just changed it a little bit based on how I use it. So <laughs> that's pretty much how everything works around here. Um, uh, Maggie asked in the comments, will there be matching sets for holidays coming up? Yes, there will be. So as a sneak peek for tomorrow, there's going to actually be the matching set for Valentine's Day since that one is coming up. And then um, we'll have, you know, St. Patrick's Day and, and a few others as well. But not tomorrow. Tomorrow, only Valentine's Day. Um, but throughout the year, we will add the rest of them as well. So um, like I was saying, it's set up 
similarly to last year, but a little bit different. So these are all the same. We've got the full boxes, the half boxes, some of them with, you know, little decorative elements, some um, small event label, or just regular event labels, small event labels. And then these ones have actual labels on them. Uh, we've got Remember, Celebrate, and Today, and all of them should have that on there. I believe it's possible my my collection here that I'm showing you doesn't have it on every single page, but it will be on the final one, just as a, as a heads up. Um, there's also some decorative strips. So this is actually four different strips. You've got two of the design and then two that say something. So for the different seasons, each one says my favorite season is blank, whatever that season is. So this one says my favorite season is winter, spring says my favorite season is spring, etc. And then we've got some decor decorative stickers down at the bottom. And one of my favorite things, like I said, and again, this is me tooting my horn once again, um, but the details in this collection are amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Patting myself on the back here. But um, every single page in the collection also has I'm hoping I'm putting this in the right spot. It has this little uh, Polaroid strip and every single one has little decorative pieces inside. So like this one has Winter Steve and then it has the little snow globe and then it has a winter house. So it's kind of like you're actually like hanging Polaroids up on your, up on your, um, whatever, <laughs> your bulletin board or wherever, but it's, you know, your planner. So, um, I thought that was fun. I just, just something a little fun and then there is a big weekend banner and then each one does tell you down at the bottom what the page actually is just in case it's not obvious um, this one is the spring page so again we have that that Polaroid thing with some different designs and then we have you know spring type designs and then like I said my favorite season is spring then we've got summer and summer is one of my favorites. I, I try not to have favorites, but I always do. <laughs> but summer is one of my favorites. I just really like how the boxes turned out um, and the colors and everything. So there's that one. Then we have fall. Fall is another one of my favorites. Now I'm going to say every single one is my favorite because that's just what I do. <laughs> but fall, like, this Steve is just so cute. Like, how cute is that? So cute. <laughs> I'm going to say cute one more time. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. Then we get into the other like celebrations. So this one is a birthday one. You'll actually sneak peek. You're gonna see this one on my Instagram in a couple days. So uh, if you wanna see it in use. Um, so this one, again, it has some decorative up here and some decorative down here. And so this is where the text changes on each one. So the seasons all said my favorite season is blank. This actually is like more, more text that has to do with that holiday. So like this one actually says, celebrate your life, happy birthday, and let's have a party. And then it repeats and it has little decorative pieces in between. So that one is really fun. I just like layering those on there. Then you come into Valentine's Day. And this one, this one was also already on my Instagram. I used this one. Um, super fun. I, I posted... I think it was yesterday with this one, um, asking if you guys like traditional or uh, non-traditional colors. And it's always hit or miss. It's like half the people like traditional colors, half the people like non-traditional colors. I like a mix of both. <laughs> so I kind of do both. Um, so instead of doing like red and pink, I did pink and purple and then added in a couple like not necessarily traditional but still complementary colors. So that one is Valentine's Day. Then you have St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick's Day is always a fun one to do, but it also is always a little difficult because most people expect St. Patrick's Day to be green. And while green is my favorite color, surprise, surprise, I get a little <laughs> sick of having to do St. Patrick's Day being green. So this year I decided to tie in the fact that rainbows also have to do with celebrate or with uh, St. Patrick's Day and it also has to do with our celebrations collection so I just kind of tied that rainbow back into this page and I absolutely love how this one turned out. This is also one of my favorites. Um, so you've got the St. Patrick's Day stuff here and then you've got some decorative um, elements down here and a lot of people do 
say, well, I don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that, but I do include it because you could use this for a lot of different holidays as well, in my opinion. I mean, who knows? Like, Damien could be my lucky charm, and then I can put that on his birthday or something, you know? So, anyway, so I like that one a lot. <laughs> then you come into Halloween, and the funny thing about Halloween is when I was showing Damien the final product of all the colors and everything, he goes, he says to me, you know, you can really tell Halloween is your favorite holiday. <laughs> and I was like, why is that? And he said it was because it's, it's always the best page. And I mean, I'm not going to argue with him. It's a pretty good page. Um, so this year I went again with a little bit less traditional colors, but still semi-traditional because the orange and black can sometimes be like, bam, in your face. So instead we did the orange and the purple with a little bit of pink and blue. So, and then of course there's Cindy's favorite little Steve there. And then we've got your little Polaroid strip, etc. Then we have Thanksgiving and again, tried to do a little bit semi-traditional, semi-not traditional colors. So it's a little bit darker for fall. And then, you know, you've got, you know, it's turkey time. And, sweeter than pumpkin pie and it's a little tray of cookies because obviously cookies are in my opinion better than pie <laughs> some people disagree <laughs> um, and then we just have some relaxing things so like I said this year Steve is wrapped up in a blanket like sitting on the couch so we also have you know some books for him to read and I think a coffee for him to drink and you know stuff like that then we have the New Year page, which is the last actual decorative holiday in the collection. And this one, I really love how this one turned out. Um, New Year's is another holiday that can be a little bit difficult to do, only because, you know, a lot of the decorations that go with New Year's have to do with, you know, celebrating with champagne or wine or something like that. But not everybody wants to celebrate with wine or champagne, so we try to like incorporate other types of celebrations into it as well that are all-encompassing. So um, this is actually one of my absolute favorite stickers in the entire collection, which <laughs> it's funny that it's, it's such a simple sticker, but I just love the sticker every time I see it. Um, but it just says, bring it on. So hopefully that's not like us telling 2022 to be a big jerk, but bring it on. <laughs> right <laughs> um and then we just have a few more decorations we've got some fireworks and balloons and a little fancy dress in case we can maybe go to a party this year we'll see i don't normally party but i feel like this year it might be something we want to do since we haven't been able to in forever but and then we got little steve hanging with a with a little happy new year banner <laughs> i have not cursed us all <laughs> I promise. <laughs> and then the very last page is some functional um, decorations or functional pieces that don't, again, don't really fit everywhere else or anywhere else in the collection, but they're necessary in my opinion. So we have each month of the year and you can use these on your monthly or you can use them, you know, in a bullet journal or in a journal, like a regular journal, wherever. Um, some more birthday labels and then just some fun uh, noted to do and then our little two more of our taglines it's a planner thing and I've got a sticker for that another thing of holidays and then some more Steve's here and then down at the very bottom is the uh, set of houses that we have for each season so we have winter spring summer and fall I had Cindy draw different house like different decorations for each season because people love decorating their house for the season and so I thought that that would be fun um, so you'll see those on the actual page pages as well, but um, I just thought that would be fun to have as a little statement. So that is everything that is in the base kit of the Celebrations Collection. So just as a reminder for anyone who may have missed at the beginning or, you know, still forgot or whatever needs to know, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Time is when we will be releasing this. Um, it will be available for pre-order until the 22nd at, or 26th, sorry, at 11.59 p.m. or until supplies last, depending on which comes first. Um, it will be $120 plus shipping. 
Um, if you just want the stickers and not the binder, it's 115 plus shipping. The first 150 orders will receive a fast pass for shipping, which means it will be processed within five to seven business days, not including the transit time. There are over a thousand exclusive stickers included in the base kit, over 24 pages, which is two more pages than last year. So that is awesome. Um, there is, you can have a free keychain if you use a unique coupon code, which is on the, in the description below are all of the individuals who have coupon codes to use and which Steve they have as their keychain. I'm going to have all the listings on the site late tonight to make sure you can see them all before browsing so you can see um, what all will be available tomorrow. And I think that is everything for the actual collection. So I think I got the questions as they popped up in the chat. But, um, oh, there's one more. Um, uh, what kind of pens work best on these stickers? So we do have, it is a slicker surface than most stickers. So we recommend using a permanent marker. Um, our personal favorite, my personal favorite, is the Microperm. And we do sell that on the website. Um, you can also get it in some craft stores and online at other places. If, you know, if you're grabbing the collection, you might just grab a pen as well, if you want. <laughs> um, but even like a regular permanent Sharpie, not not the pens and not the new S gels, but a regular Sharpie permanent marker will work great. And then I think I saw a question about Michaels in here. I did. So uh, Jen asked, will there be new stickers at Michaels? And without saying more than I'm allowed to, I will say yes, there will be. <laughs> I can't say when or what or how or anything like that. But yes and i will let you guys know as soon as i can okay so now to get on with the die cut sets so these ones are our let's see wait pilot ultra fine oh yeah pilot ultra fine uh permanent is also great if you like a finer point see jen with those ones i i guess i push a little hard so i end up pushing the um point in a little bit faster than i do with the micro perm but that works for a lot of people too. So on the die cut sets, this one is our 2021 calendar die cut set and each one coordinates with the month. Um, again, it's, it's with the Northern Hemisphere months, but you've got um, Happy New Year for January, Valentine's Day for February, St. Patrick's Day for March, Spring for April. This is uh, Study Steve for May. Then we have summer for June, 4th of July for July, or Independence Day for July. We have planner seed for August, because fun fact, um, August 1st is National Planner Day. So we figured August was a good day to have for planner seed. Then September is fall, October is thanks, or er, October is Halloween, November is Thanksgiving, and then December is winter. So those are all the die cuts there. And these are die cut stickers. So if you wanted, you could stick them, you know, in your planner or wherever you want. Some people like to stick them in the pockets of their ring planners or in their TNs. Um, and some people actually like to stick them on their monitors on their desks so that they have it super handy. So that's that one. Oh, and <laughs> Damien's over here telling me what to, what to remind you of. But also, they are removable, just like all of our stickers. So, no matter what you put them on, I mean, I shouldn't say no matter what. For the most part, <laughs> you can take them off of basically anything that you put them on, which is awesome. And, like, it can, it can be, like, a year later. Like, I, I took some stickers off of something last year, and I, I don't remember what it was, but it was very recent, and I was really excited that it came off properly. <laughs> anyway, so these are... Um, these are the two different die cut sets. So y'all really liked these last year, so we decided to bring them back. And we brought them back in a little bit different way this year, um, just based on feedback and, and all of that stuff. Um, so we have a, uh, let's see, seasonal celebrations here, and then we have everyday celebrations here. So these ones are things like 
planners, um, and I'll go through each one, but then these ones are the actual like seasonal holidays and, and planner holidays. Um, so one of the questions was, uh, is this the, the thick binder, like the newer one with the larger rings? And the answer is no. This one is actually the half inch uh, binder that we've had in, in the past. And it's just because of how well the collection fits inside of it. So this is the same half inch binder we've done in the past for the celebrations collection. So for the seasonal celebrations, we have the winter Steve, spring, summer, fall, we have birthday, Valentine's Day. Of course, okay, I'm just gonna say birthday goes in, in the order that it does because I do it based on my birthday. So, so if any of you wanna say happy birthday, it's in January. <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, New Year. This is the Holy Steve I was telling you about, which is the, the Festival of Colors, which is why he's covered in, in paint there. This is Easter Steve. Diwali Steve, Hanukkah Steve, and then Christmas Steve. <clears throat> so that, that is the seasonal celebrations die cut set. And then this one is the everyday celebrations. And these, I feel like I'm going to have like eight different copies of, of these so that I can stick them in all sorts of places because they are really cute. I mean, the other ones are also really cute, but these ones are really cute year round. <laughs> So this one, this first one is Planner Steve, and he is, this is like Steveception because he is holding a sheet of Steve stickers. So it's like Steve buying a sheet of himself in sticker form, which is great. <laughs> then we have Steady Steve with his little, his little raised eyebrow. This is Shopping Steve with his little credit card ready to go and his bag ready to put his goods in. This is Everybody Tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Time <laughs> when this releases. I'm just kidding. Don't be that nervous. Um, but this is basically, essentially this is Black Friday, Steve, but really any, any sort of um, stressful computer situation <laughs> is this guy. We have Travel Steve here looking at a map trying to figure out where the heck to go. This one is Ox Steve for Year of the Ox. This one is Tiger Steve for Year of the Tiger, which is 2022. Then we have Bride and Groom Steve. We have just a standard Celebrate, which can be used for basically anything. Same with the, the two different Yay Steves. Then we have Balloons with a Cake, great for birthday, but also for basically any other celebration. We have just regular balloons, also great for any celebration. And then Independence Day here. Also good for any celebration, really. Um, and yes, these are stickers too. So all of our die cuts are also stickers. So you can you can just peel off the backing here. I'm gonna try to do it. There you go. You can just peel it off, and you can stick it wherever you want. And then you can take it right off if you want. <laughs> so yeah. So that is everything. I think I got everything. Um, the die cut sets are. If I remember correctly, $12.50 each. Um, these ones are a different price, and I don't know. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to check just to be sure. <laughs> so I don't give you the wrong answer. The die cut, the calendar die cuts are $8.50. And then the sets are $12.50. And then we will have, like I said, we're going to have a few other items on the website as well tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to make sure that they're on the website tonight so you can browse either tonight or early tomorrow morning. Depends on how late I stay up trying to, trying to get them up. Um, <laughs> someone just asked, wouldn't Independence Day Steve be better suited for seasonal and birthday with celebrations? Um, yes. <laughs> That's a good point. Um... Yeah, I don't have a good response to that other than yes, <laughs> probably. I just put all the balloons for the most part together, I guess. So, um, so just one last time, uh, this will be releasing tomorrow at tomorrow, January twenty second at twelve p.m. Central Time. 
The first 150 orders will receive a fast pass, which means they'll ship within five to seven business days, not including transit time. The pre-sale goes through January 26th, which is next Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. or while supplies last. Um, it is possible it will sell out. It, we don't anticipate it selling out like super, super, super quick. Last year it sold out about 12 hours before pre-sale ended. So that should give you a, a general idea of when it might sell out. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said though, this one is even better than last year's and last year's was my absolute favorite. So this one will hopefully be your favorite too. <laughs> we'll see. Um, there are over a thousand exclusive stickers in the base kit, which is 24 total pages. Last year was only 22 pages. We added two more so that we have a few more reasons to celebrate after the year that we've just all gone through. Um, and we're keeping it at the same price of $129 plus shipping. And that is a $196 value. So it's like a huge value. Um, you're going to get a lot of stickers and they're all really, really, really good stickers. Um, like I said at the beginning, I collaborate with Cindy of Llama Letters every year on making this collection and she knocks it out of the park every single year with her artwork and her lettering and everything and it just makes it all the, all the better. So all, all sorts of good things in this. Um, Add-ons will be available at a later date. So the only, there, there might be a few, or there might be, there will be a few add-ons on the site tomorrow, but those are things like um, the, birth, the birthday mini add-on, the months of the year for both the Northern and Southern Hemisphere, etc. Um, and I will have the Valentine's Day 2021 items, like the coordinating items, going up tomorrow as well. Um, you can get a free keychain with a unique code during checkout. I have links to Instagram accounts for everyone who reviewed our collection early. Most of them have posted their videos already or their blog posts or Instagram posts, whatever they posted. They have put, most of the people have posted them already. Some will be going up tomorrow. So just make sure you check them out. And if, if you use their coupon code, you can get their Steve for free. It does need to be placed in the coupon code box, not in the note to seller. Uh, just to make sure we get the inventory correct on those. And I will have everything on the site tonight slash tomorrow morning for you to look at. And I think, I think that's everything. I think I got it all. So unless there are any more questions, I'm going to take off. But I wanted to say thank you all for hanging out with me and, and being excited to celebrate. I can't wait to see what you guys all think of the collection and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. It really is the best one we've done. And I, I say that every year, but I do, I do every year. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I just, I like it better every year. <laughs> um, the codes for the different um, review people are in the description box here on this video as well as in our email list, on our Facebook page, and we will also have it in our Instagram stories throughout the weekend, just so that people know where to go for the different freebies. So with all of that, thank you all so much for being here. You guys are amazing. And I will see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central. Bye. button right in the middle of the thing.